The big difference between speaking to a smaller crowd and a larger crowd is about the words you use and how you, your body language. You know, to a small crowd, you can, you can have very much one-to-one -one eye contact with every single person in the room, and that's an important part of it. If you've got a very big crowd, you've still got to do a bit of that, but it's a much, much harder job. Ideally, the language you use and the, and the way you project yourself will be very similar, because even in a big crowd, you still want to have a bit of that one-to-one -one with everyone. But your eye contact and the way you run that has got to be got to be much you've got to be much more rigorous about it breaking up the audience into different blocks working with them one at a time working with each of those blocks so that everyone in the audience feels like they've had a big speech you can't just imagine it like a big mass crowd if you're on a stage and you've got quite a quite a big 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 audience a few tips for you first of all if there's a lectern try and get in front of the lectern there's nothing worse than somebody stuck behind it, you know, with only their heads and shoulders showing. You want to be out there talking to the whole, the whole audience. Then if you've got a big stage, what do you do? Avoid the caged tiger look. Don't walk pace up and down from one side to the other. Stand at one, one side of the uh, stage. Address the audience for a few minutes from one side. Then walk over to the other side. Plant yourself there and talk to the other side of the audience. Just move a few times, but make sure that what you focus on is your speech and what you're trying to deliver.